Okay, you're probably thinking zucchini in brownies? But don't knock it until you've tried these zucchini brownies from All Recipes member Marion. Not only is it a great way to use up an overabundant summer vegetable, but the zucchini provides tons of moisture, making these brownies rich and fudgy. Begin by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Then grease and flour a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. Next, in a large bowl, add half a cup of vegetable oil. One and a half cups of granulated sugar. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix together well. In another medium bowl with two cups of all-purpose flour, add half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. Whisk them together. Then stir this into the sugar mixture. Now fold in two cups of shredded zucchini and half a cup of chopped walnuts. You may notice there's no egg in this batter. That's not a mistake. It's what contributes to the brownie's fudgy texture and it makes a great recipe for those with allergies. Spread the batter into the prepared baking pan. Don't worry if the batter looks dry at this point. The zucchini will release lots of moisture as it bakes. Bake the brownies in the preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes, or until they spring back when touched lightly at the center. Be careful not to overbake them, because they'll lose their fudgy texture. While the brownies cool, we'll make the frosting. In the microwave or in a small saucepan on the stovetop, melt a quarter cup of margarine or butter with six tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Set this aside to cool. Meanwhile, in a medium bowl with two cups of confectioner's sugar, add a quarter cup of milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend with a whisk or electric mixer until it's smooth. Then mix in the cocoa mixture until it's smooth. Once the brownies are fully cooled, spread on the frosting before cutting them into squares. All Recipes member Berry Cat says, wow, these are perfectly fudgy, melt in your mouth delicious. Thanks for a future heirloom recipe. Top them with sprinkles or more chopped walnuts.